and your flag, you wanna you wanna put, shoot those guys on flag. But if you're court and you're pushing your rocks, you wanna push their jump up. So if you're losing a fight, you wanna push their side. Um, also, if you're if you're winning a fight, no matter what, I mean, you can put a shot one one or two shots, but you wanna get to their side. If you're winning the fight, if you if you have teammates that you can trust, you wanna get to their side as fast as you can. When you're doing the evil Teddy ass, when you're doing the annoying things and their sniper, especially when you killed one or two in courtyard, you get their sniper and hide and wait for respawns on rocks. But when do you want to push the rocks? Because if you stay there for too long, it, it turns off off to that. But I get what he's saying, what that person is saying. I don't know if that's a girl or a guy. <laughs> don't know the face behind the monitor. But whenever you push, whenever you're sniping, they're spawning rocks. If you kill them court, they're gonna spawn rocks. So. If you if it's on flag especially because slayers are a bit um, more chaotic spawns they're not going to be as easy to read so what you want to do is you want to wait for a couple of them to die once two people die that is the signal to go to the flag um, I, I I would guess that's the me the best way I can explain it to have a marker for that as two people whenever you're on the snipe two people die go to that flag um, go to and slayer you want to go to flag and look court. And flag you whenever go to their flag and help the flag out run. Um, why didn't you stay alive and kill everybody three times? Not important. <laughs> Some good times on the stream. It looks like all the questions are done. I've got a couple more. Ryanub, I've seen you refrain. copy asks. Ryanub, I've seen you refrain from killing players to keep them sp from spawning at the spot. In what cases, on what spots, on sank is that a good idea? Do you only do it when they spawn in, when they spawn in a certain place, or is it good to do it anyway? Very good question. I've liked all the all the ones that have gone past three lines. Have been very very good questions. Um, the most important spots to uh, um, not kill them are rocks and court. The extremities in the map are the most important spots to uh, to to not block spawns. Once you want to, here let me let me make sure I get this question right. In what cases on which spots on sync? So the cases are when you have control and you're trying to run a flag. You don't, or you're trying to get more control. Um, when they're spawning rocks, you want to kill them all rocks and then have them spawn court. You don't want to kill two rocks. And then have a guy like Street that got shot at from rocks, and then one of the guys that died rocks spawns court and kills the guy Street. You don't want that to happen, so you want all four to spawn rocks, kill them all while losing maybe one or two players, and then run the flag while the while the people that are spawning are watching the uh, the people that push across the map off spawn stuff like that. Um, but basically, the extremities in the map are the, are the the spawning on the extremities of the map are the most important spawns that you want don't want to block at all. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Ryan, it seems like everyone says push their hut, but it seems that when you get there, it is completely useless. Very, very good point, but it is not completely useless. It seems completely useless. You seem like you get destroyed every single time. What you want to do is get into their hut. If you. Hmm. I would say getting to their hut is the most important thing to do on the map, and let me put this in terms of um, of like going into matchmaking. If you go into matchmaking, forget the skill gap, forget that there's you play against random people, like fifty to level fifty to level ones. If you push for a snipe, it's letting people who don't don't normally shoot at their snipe shoot at you. So. If you guys have four in ring, you you're gonna like everybody's gonna be looking at you, and you're gonna be looking at everybody. But at the same time, if you have a guy, if you're at snipe and two people will rush you, that's let that lets your teammates shoot from ring out out to them. Like if they're their bond, they can shoot at the people rushing you. You might eventually die, but it'll let your teammates get in an advantageous position so that they can eventually kill them a lot easier. <gasps> Rocks and sp <laughs> what up, uh, 
When D Martin, do you worry about the missing shots or does it matter? When D Martin, do you worry about missing shots or in any, or in any matter? Or just make them uh, so they back down? You really don't want to make miss shots, I guess. Mm. I guess when you spawn kill, you want to like put body shots into them. More important than getting a kill. But it's but whenever you're DMRing, I would suggest to just focus on your positioning. Don't focus on your DMR. Don't focus on shooting them as many times as you can. Focus on the what's going to happen after that. That's a lot of people that. That's a lot of mistakes. That's the biggest mistake that everybody makes is like, I gotta kill this guy. I gotta, I gotta play my uh, role as best I can. I gotta finish this guy off so that my teammates can get a position. No, that is not how it's done. You gotta, gotta focus on what you're planning on doing. Getting in a ring, like say you're having a fight like this, like court sniper ramp, like right there to right here. You can have a fight with him for as long as you want, but it's not gonna help your team out. It's just a one on one. Basically, if you're doing this and you win this 1v1, your teammates are doing all the work. This is something that a lot of people had the misconception about Formal was. He won every single one-on-one -on -one fight he, he could. And I'm not knocking on him now. I'm knocking on his past performances back whenever we had we teamed for Dallas. Stuff like that. Like He is a very good player. All that. I love him. Give him a little heart. But um, back in Dallas, what he would do is he'd challenge every single person. And he'd come out ahead every time. He'd win every single fight. But after that, he was completely clueless. He didn't understand what he was supposed to do next. Um, that is that is what up and coming people have in their minds. They just don't know when to when to or what to do next. So whenever you're fighting, you want to focus on I gotta get to ring. I've gotta get in there. How do I do that? I don't fight that guy. You fo like leave him alone so you can get in a ring and then hope your teammates out. <gasps> Who? All right, I'm taking one more question. I'm looking for the best question. Because I'm getting a little overboard on these ones, going too much in depth. You'll run over if you sneak over to the other side. And Superman asks, and this is a decent question. I haven't seen any better ones. So, yo, Ryan Noob. I'm guessing he's black. I'm just kidding. If you sneak over to the other... I'm just kidding. Black people don't play Halo. <laughs> if you sneak over to the other team's side and your team is getting spawn killed, when is the right time to pull the flag and distract the other team? There is never a right and wrong time to do that. <laughs> APG is not black. He is white. He is the white... The, the whitest girl you'll ever meet. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, when is the best time to uh, pull the flag and distract the other team? There's never a right and wrong time. The, I would I would say the best time though is to is when they are focusing on killing your teammates off spawn, and you want uh I, I don't know you don't you don't really want to pull the flag. What you want to do is you want to make them focused on you. But there's different ways of doing that. Whether you pull the flag, whether you shoot them in the back, whether you just get them distracted on you somehow but my best suggestion would be to pull the flag just a little bit so that you can shoot them in the back and then run the flag like that is that is what I do most of the time like say you're behind them on they they have ring control they're trying to spawn kill your teammates um, what I would do is I'd grab this flag like they're on our street right there I'd grab this flag throw it out health rock put shots on that guy wait till they turn back on me and then like drop down flag ramp shoot get another guy there um, once that guy turns away from me, grab the flag again, and then start putting more shots on. This really puts the other team in a bind to where they don't know what to do, they don't know how to do it, and they're really confused as to what to do next. And that'll let you guys win the game easily. Woohoo! Alright, so I hope I answered all you guys' questions. Um, as did to the best of my ability and I hope you guys liked it so here we go with the game 2-0 in our favor Sh looks like we should be closing out this uh, this game pretty easily forget the time bar at the top of the top of the screen as that's not important save all your questions for the end and I will be answering them there I'll be taking about seven questions I'm gonna take seven 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 good ones seven good ones so right now what I again what I wanted to do this is um this is kind of important as 
the the biggest thing I said whenever you spawn, you want to push from snipe to flag whenever the other team has control. But that works from the same uh, perspective as nobody has ring control. So what you want to do is you want to get to the other side of the map as fast as you can. My teammate spawns snipe with me out here and my nose there. So what I want to do is I want to go jump up. Make sure he's getting shot at different angles. I guess I could have stayed snipe because he just picked up the sniper and is getting destroyed. But I want to get on the other side of the map as fast as I can. I do end up pushing into the snipe. Flynn gets it. Doesn't hit the shot. Boop, boop, boop. So again, this is uh, what's I think it was Infraction asked. Why is it important to push the snipe? I don't seem to be doing anything. I have a guy staring at me. I know he's there. Look at that. He just jumped under a turret. What does that do? It lets your teammates get into ring control. Very, very important. And, th and then look, another guy's pushing at me. Um, where's, where are their other teammates? Jump up. So I can easily... What I can easily do right here is that guy's under turret. I can shoot the guy's sniper imp like one or two times and then push to here. So that if he goes sniper imp, my team he's like afraid to go sniper imp because my teammates will shoot him. Because I called him out, stuff like that. This is stuff that gets instilled in your brain whenever you uh, play Halo Reach enough. Like, if you get shot and then you stay in that spot, you're going to die. So if you put shots and then go around the corner, it'll let you uh, stay alive a lot easier. But I didn't see him. Look, I get a melee on him. Oh god! See, that could have gone a lot better if I didn't jump. But you guys get them. You guys get what's up. What's up? You guys get it. I've been doing this for 45 minutes, and I've only gone through eight minutes of a gameplay. God. So I don't know what Kyle was doing there. Um, I guess he just got caught off guard. Pushing in the ring. Um, rockets are coming up. What I want to do is get to their wall. Um, getting to their wall is one of the most important things in the game when controlling rockets when going for things like that that way uh... it's really I don't know, it's really annoying to go in a ring and have a guy your wall as well as well as a guy on like the other side of the ring watch how I do this as well as you want to just poke out see the the biggest thing right here um, the biggest thing about poking out street is knowing that they're not going to come out street the only three places they can come from now is our jump or four places, our jump, our bond, their bond, and their jump so turning back, or I should have turned back. I should have turned back faster. But now looking at a ring, getting an easy call and enable, hoping out for rockets. He dies. I grab rockets. Uh oh, got him. And then got cleaned up. So then it's just a big fight with rockets. We're trying to trade kills. Rockets down our flag ramp. We gotta kill him fast, 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 fast. So now that I know where Rockets are at, I'm going for him. Told my teammate to leave them because I needed him to push up faster. Four dead, grabbing rock jetpack because I wanted to try this out, see if it was worth it. Nice play, Flame Sword. Didn't know whether I should DMR this guy or rocket him, so I just didn't kill him. Um, basically, what I'm doing right now is I'm just playing a support role. You want to make sure no one gets behind you. You want to make sure that um, you're controlling the spawns. If you you want to make sure. Everyone dies court, that way they spawn rocks. If they have one guy court, they, there's a possibility that can, they can spawn court if they died far enough away from it. Like, if they died if they died under turret and, like, our jump and their bond, then there's, and the last guy's their court, there's a possibility that they can spawn court. So, I mean, I do finish this guy carbine. That means they're spawning rocks, all of them. Trying to finish off the one shot. Like, I really don't want them to spawn rocks. I, I, I guess I should have. I thought we were running a flag ramp for some reason whenever in this game. I remember that. So, getting a double. And no matter where they spawn, I should be rocketing them, but I was a little bit late, and I choked on my rocket, and missing a lot of shots. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to be nerdy here and jetpack the flag up. It would have been, it would have been a different scenario. Really, that's that's something that's really hard for um, players to get a hold of is when people play nerdy. It's really hard to like decide what you're gonna do against that. Like, whenever the flag's here, you're gonna be like, all right, the flag is gonna take at least a second or like a second and a half if I go court like if I sit right here I can easily kill the flag guy with enough time or I can go like right here but if I jetpack it up it's just such a different scenario that I can get it like our carbine without getting killed go back to my screen so 2-0 this game is going pretty well like we're playing very good defense um, spawning I know there's people on our side I'm just basically like Staying alive as long as I can. I'm taking the least amount of shield damage that I can while at the same time inflicting the most. I'm not missing a damn shot. Melee Kyle. And then have double assist. Let's go.